the shape of an absolute value is a chevron. <laughs> Absolute value. That's pretty neat. Value is absolute. Sweet. <laughs> wow. So, absolute values. So, absolute values are defined as values without signs. So, we can't have any of these here. No signs at all, especially this sign right here. That's not a cool sign at all. Wow. Wow. So many different signs. Wow, look at these guys. What are you doing? Well, we're just learning about absolute values and uh, how they don't have signs in them. Yeah, no, no signs. You mean math signs. Oh. What? Wait! These boys can teach us! Why, do you need help? We got all the stuff right here! Let's go! Alright Isaac, so take this equation for example. This means the absolute value of x minus 8. Alright. So we're going to make a table of values and use the points negative 2 to 2. We're going to sub these into the equation and see what we get. So negative, so negative 2 minus 8 becomes negative 10. Put negative 10 inside of these, the final answer is going to be positive. So the final answer is positive 10. Everything in between those two line thingies becomes positive. Becomes positive? There you go. Oh. I can't. Next, we're going to sub in negative 1 into the equation. What is that? Negative 1 minus 8. Negative 9. It is! What do these lines do? Positive. Yes! And it's just going down by 1 now. There you go, you got the pattern. That's neat. Whoa. What do you think you're doing? Ah! Ah! Where'd they all go? Oh, geez, that was so scary. Boys, I got the board. Oh, <laughs> Perfect. Oh. That's neat. Now we're going to graph it on the number line. Cool. All right, so now we're going to graph x in absolute value notation greater than 2, all right? So here we have Kieran writing down the number lines. All right, and so every value that is greater than 2 when it's in absolute value notation will be graphed on this number line. So, say we have negative 3, it is going to actually equal positive 3, which is greater than 2. That's good. But, say we have 2, 2, that's not greater than 2. So, we're going to have to put a hole there that is not going to be allowed on the line. Alright, so, hole there, hole at negative 2 as well. Alright, now, every value that is positive will be positive. So. We are going to do that. That is how you graph on a number line. That's neat. Super neat. <laughs> now, to evaluate an expression with absolute values, we want to start in the brackets, which could be considered these. So, right here, if we see 2 times 3, what does that equal? Six. Okay, so we take the absolute value of six plus three, negative three times four, what's that? That's negative 12. You got it. Negative 12, absolute value. That equals six plus 12. 12. And you know what? Big old 18 right there. Neat. <laughs> Sophie. <laughs> <laughs>